Let me start with ChatGPT 3 Mini, and I want to tell it, you are the best writer in the world, so give it a role, which is you know a usual way to work with these tools. Please write a story about a time loop, but I want the time loop to be unique and creative and in a certain style. So I'm going to name some authors here that I like personally. You could use whatever authors you want. I'm going to go with Stephen King and Dan Brown, like both of their writing styles. And for this, I want a short story. I'm not giving much information here. So let's see what we get back. Okay. So we got a, a short, I didn't say how long I wanted it. It's pretty short, but let's see how we did. Okay. It's really not bad. I'm liking what I'm reading here. I hope you had a chance to read what was on the screen a little bit. If not, you can always pause the video, go back and read over it. It's not perfect. Certainly none of these tools come out with perfect writing right now, but the question is, is it better than I would do on my first draft? And often the answer is yes, or at least close to yes. There's always things I would change, like repeated words. Maybe I would take out some information, maybe add a little bit here and there. But overall, I'm happy with this right now, and I'm, I'm impressed. I think this is an improvement, maybe slight improvement, but improvement over the previous models. What I want to do next, though, is give a little bit more instruction and see with more details what we get. Okay, just to show you what I've done, I've changed up the authors that I wanted uh, the, the model to emulate. So now it's Dean Koontz and Dan Brown, just to see what that does. I gave a lot more instruction about what I want the characters to be like, the dialogue, the pacing, lots of more information. And also I gave the actual story idea about a former army ranger because that's close to my own heart and he has turned into a hired bodyguard he's trying to protect a chess prodigy overseas this is a common storyline in a lot of movies where this ex special forces goes on the run with usually either a child or someone who is not adept in action sequences so there's that contrast. I like that storyline. And so I wanted to do it here with a little twist. Let's see what we get with this. I'm not going to read all this on this video, but what I'm reading, I really like. I think there's a nice combination of action, information, introduction of the characters. As I'm reading along, sometimes I start to worry, oh, is it going to be too much information? And maybe it is, maybe it's not. I can always change and edit that in the revision phase. But this gives me something on the page that I can work with and tweak and improve. Of course, you could write your own work and just ask ChatGPT, this model or any model, to help you revise and edit your own work. I'm liking how this writing merges action, information, keeping the story going, but dropping in little tidbits here and there. Still, there's some repeated words, some things I would change. But overall, I'm very happy with what this is right now as a first draft work. One thing I've noticed about these writing tools and modules, not just this, these new ones, just all of them really, is sometimes they not only repeat words, which is not always a bad thing, but sometimes they re repeat words that are unique, like precision, that you might not use all the time, most people. So having that same word on the same page twice in close proximity probably is going to alert the reader, might knock them out of the story. And that's the last thing that we want. We want to keep the readers engaged. So I would probably change up some of those more unique repeated words. But again, overall, really happy with this. In a moment, we're going to test the other model, the O3 Mini High, which is supposedly even better at coding and logic. Now, I'm not going to test the coding, but the logic is very applicable in a story. The best stories follow a very tight story logic. And that's even if there's superheroes, even if there's things that don't make sense in the real world, but they must make sense in the story world. We got 1500 words here, which is what I wanted, which is great. I love getting a higher word count and a precise word count that I ask for. Because sometimes you want a shorter chapter, sometimes you want a longer chapter. Sometimes you want a shorter story, sometimes you want a longer story. Let's check out this other model and see how it does with creating a story. 
I think I'm going to give it the exact same prompt just so we can compare and contrast the two new models. Already what I like is it's telling us a little bit more about its reasoning and what it's doing behind the scenes inside of the AI. It's thinking about the narrative and the setting and the names of the protagonist weighing different options. So it's doing some of its background work that a human writer or editor would be doing. And I really like how it's explaining that to us so we kind of know what's going on. We know that it's taking certain things from our instructions and actually applying them. The AI is thinking about the chess prodigy, talking about the action sequences. And already what I like is that it's formatted more like a novel and it has this opening chapter title name. I like that already. Let's read through this a little bit. Again, pause, read the whole thing if you want. I'm just going to touch on a few things that I noticed in a quick read or scan. I already like the first sentence. Probably not going to win any words, but it's good. If I opened up a book at a bookstore, read this first line, I would keep reading, which is often my MO. In this case, I would keep reading this story to see what happens. It's not exactly how I envision the first chapter being exactly, but it's close. And I could always tweak the instructions, get a couple different options, which I think is the best way to move forward with any of these these tools is to do it slowly, to create a premise, to create a, a detailed outline, which we will do in just a moment, and then create the story scene by scene, chapter by chapter, tweaking and changing, getting different options, and doing that slowly and very interactively to get the best results. So far, though, I'm really liking what I'm reading. I think it's an improvement even over the other model we just looked at. I really do like it better sometimes with these new models. I don't like them any better. Like I actually tested out Deep Seek a couple months ago when it first came out and I really wasn't impressed. So I didn't even make a video of it, didn't do anything with it. And I test all of these new models as much as I can. And sometimes I'm not that impressed with the improvement with story-wise because that's, you know, writing related applications of these AI tools is how I use them mostly. In this case, I'm very impressed. I think this is a level up for writers and authors of all kinds. I definitely tighten up some of the dialogue. I would take some things out probably to make the dialogue tighter. Some of the dialogue a little cringy, but in the AI's defense, I did tell it to really focus on this kind of banter. Again, overall, I'm very happy. I'm very impressed. Now let's test out how this new model does with creating an outline. I gave it a lot more information. You can see that, read it on the screen, a lot of details about the story. But then I say, before you write the first chapter, give me a detailed outline of this novel. So you can see it's already starting to work. It's pretty fast, really, for the level of reasoning that it's supposedly doing behind the scenes. Again, I like how it's telling us everything that it's doing in the background. It's working on the plot, formulating the alliance of the characters, thinking about how piecing together the different elements in my instructions, and of course, creating the outline itself. Here we have the overall structure and themes that starts this outline. I like how it's going over the big picture, the meta level of the story first. It's broken down into three acts, common way to plot a story. So let's go through a little bit and look at what it did with each one of the acts. I would say right off the bat that act two probably needs to be longer, act one and act three a little bit shorter. Typically in these kinds of stories, the, the middle section of most stories is the longest, the most action packed. It's where most of the exciting things happen, interesting things happen in the story. And we see what's going on with each one of these chapters. Pause and read if you'd like. I'm going to go over it very quickly. But so far, I like how the story is laid out. It'll be interesting to see how the AI actually applies that with the each scene and each chapter. Again, I think maybe we need to sh tighten up the intro to act one, maybe tighten up act three and then extend and add story content to the middle. No fluff, but actual plot. Or we can leave it as it is and make it a shorter novel, which sometimes that's the best thing to do. Depends on the story. I do like how the, a lot of the chapters have 
chess themed names. That's kind of cool. So overall, I am super happy with this, with both of these new models. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.